I'm Warren Eckstein going up to teach my class on cat behavior and once again we'll find out just how much smarter the cats are than the people they live with. Anybody disagree? No. All right, because your cats are all home now watching TV. You're out here in the rain, right? What people don't understand about cats is that they are so smart they convinced us that they can't be trained so we get off their backs, but they're just as smart as any dog or just as smart as any people. There's no doubt in my mind that the cats I have lived with or have lived with me over the years understand upwards of 200 to 250 words. When people get a cat, they assume cats can't do anything but hang out, so they just let the cat be, and that's why cats have this reputation of being aloof. But all my cats come when they call. Uh, when I come home from work, my cats are there to greet me at the door. They walk on a leash, they walk on a harness. Cats are amazingly bright animals. My big problem is that they're not using their potential, and that's why there are so many cat problems. Our cats are saying to us, you know what? We need emotional stimulation in our lives. There's no such thing as the family pet. The pet is part of the family. Nosy is definitely my daughter. She's my family. I love her. It's almost like raising a little kid almost, honestly. <laughs> hey baby, I came here today to the Meow Mix Academy to learn more about my cat's behavior. Here's my feeling. If you want to understand your cats, be like them. You need to get on all fours, you need to crawl around your house, and look at life from your cat's point of view. First thing I do when I come into my house is ask my pets how their day was. With those conversations, they increase their vocabulary. Meow. Meow. Good girl. You understand your cats meows? I make tape recordings of my pets. And I listen to those tape recordings so I can determine what meow means. Hey, Pop, you know it's 6 o'clock. Time to eat. Let's play. It's time to clean the litter box. So understanding your cat's behavior from their perspective is really, really important. When I pick him up, he likes to rub his face against my face, like give me kisses. You know, a cat's sense of smell is incredible. It's like 200,000 times better than ours. Someone asked me before, why do cats rub against you? From your cat's perspective, Yahoo and Google is their nose. So when they go over and they either smell or put a certain part of their body next to you, they're waiting for your reaction so they can tell what you're thinking. If you show that cat that you love him and emotionally attached to him, that cat will come out and that cat will be your best friend. One of the advantages of, of the Cat Academy is letting the public know, you know what, you're not crazy because you talk to your cat. You're not crazy because you're special to your cat and you treat him a certain way. There are other people out there and that's a good thing. I really enjoyed Warren Eckstein's lecture today. He really took me inside the mind of my cat. I think too often we take care of their physical needs without dealing with their emotional needs. He really did answer all my questions because I had no clue. So now I know how to think like a cat. Yeah, thank you and all. My name is Warren Eckstein. Class dismissed. <laughs>